Our basic goal is to prevent injury and preserve human life. To effectively train people how to manage themselves during an emergency, you have to have re-listen in the training environment. We crank the waves up, turn the lights down, we crank the wind up, and uh, they're working hard. It's not a tick-in-the-box training program. Prevention can fail, and when prevention fails, you are now into an emergency response situation. It's not safe to see this stuff firsthand 100 miles offshore in a hurricane. That's not where you want to learn this stuff on the fly. You want to be exposed to it in this type of facility. It's actually an aggressive and uh, scary program, but you need that type of scare to really drive home the hazards. We can replicate up to 60 helicopter interiors. The place is large enough that we can actually do procedural training here that you cannot do safely in an aircraft or under an aircraft. As well, we can do the type of training here that can't be simulated any other way. We can actually come here, we can get the height above the water, we can be working 30 feet above the water and doing edge transitions on a dynamic platform like a simulated helicopter. And it's basically a configuration where we use actual aviation hoists. We have full, very accurate fidelity uh, hoist panel. And we do actual hoist emergencies outside of the simulated aircraft where we do hoist transfers, rope rescues that you wouldn't be able to do anywhere else. You are building skill sets here that are very realistic. Even more important, I think it's repeatable. You can do that same scenario five or six times till you really see that look of confidence in their eyes and you know they're walking away with something valuable. You're dealing with heights, you're dealing with altitude, and you're dealing with high sea states. That is search and rescue in the North Atlantic. So we come here, we get better trained so we can do our job better. We go to the field, now we're doing things that we may not have done before because we've been properly trained to do them, and we're bringing that information back into the training center. It's been certainly recorded that there have been more than a few people we've trained in helicopter ditching that have survived and attributed their survival to the training programs we've had here. You can come in here and say, I have trained to the industry best practice, all right? This is the only place you're gonna be able to do that uh, safely and in controlled.